Love is a deep unity maintained by the will and deliberately strengthened by habit, reinforced by the grace which both of you will need to ask for and receive from God. Being in love moves you to promise fidelity today. God's lasting love enables you to keep that promise tomorrow and for the next 50 years or more. I've known Ricky since I was five years old. Grew up with him. We've been to some, uh, some rough times, some real hard times, some, re some real good times and some big, big highs. But uh, i tell you what, he's been there with me through everything. And there's nobody else in here other than my wife that I can say has been there more for me than him. The vows you take today will bring you not only happiness, but true joy. The rings you put on today will never seem like shackles, but an irresistible pull toward each other. The oneness you find today will not do away or destroy your individuality, but will make you irresistibly drawn to each other for a lifetime of pleasure and peace. If you ever had the chance to really get to know Kayla, you know that her heart just has no limits to how much she loves others. Uh, Kayla is kind, hilarious, thoughtful, poised, respectful, and most of all, she's loving. I've watched her heart grow so much and so close to the Lord in recent years, and it's transformed this sweet, wonderful, beautiful girl into this brilliant, splendid woman <laughs> who's still best friends with a big weirdo. Now the joys that they have are doubled since the happiness of one is also the happiness of the other. The burdens are cut in half. When we share them, we divide the load. Bless this husband. Bless him as provider of nourishment and clothing. Sustain him in all the pressures of his labor for bread. May his strength be her protection his character, her pride, and may he so love that she will find in him the haven for which the heart of a woman truly longs. Marriage isn't perfect. It isn't a fairy tale or a storybook, and it doesn't always come easy. Love is overcoming obstacles, facing challenges, fighting to be together, holding on and never letting go. So many ups and downs, but we kept fighting for our love. I couldn't ask for more of a beautiful person to spend my life with. We came into this relationship as two separate people, with our own lives, our own hopes, our own paths, and our own plans. We have learned firsthand what God designed marriage to be. We have chosen one another time and time again and I'll continue to choose you every single day for the rest of my life. You are my angel, you are my soulmate, and you are my best friend. I believe that we were put together on this earth to be together 
for me to cherish you and for you to be loved by me. And now by the power vested in me by God in the state of Texas, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. It gives me great pleasure and it is my honor to be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Richard Browder.